Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome back to another Nota video where I start off by turning down my camera a little bit, a little bit high. There we go, full beautiful face in view. Daily run attempt. Noita episode number 5, let's go. We are not gonna get tricked and not gonna get Noita today. Or that's at least what I hope. Where we have, we start off with a little <coughs> energy sphere wand and a dynamite wand and we have a toxic sludge potion. Probably not something we want to drink ourselves. Kick down the card for good measure, for good luck. And right into the mines we go. A gold pouch, huh? It is just gold that we can send out. It's not gold that we can collect ourselves, I think, sadly enough. Something I haven't talked about while playing this game, I think, is just how beautiful it also looks. All the little pixel effects, all the little animations really look when you jump and you land back on the ground. The little grass and dirt that hops up. The little candlelight animations you have right here. And just the general background and aesthetics of everything. So beautiful. Something you will normally or almost everyone will probably just pass by. Because they're getting to the next level. As you know, here on the Onkra channel, we are all about gaming mindfulness or mindful gaming. Without really paying attention to what you're doing for a change. The fire wizard is causing a ruckus over here. Almost caused my death already, I'm afraid. Oh, no, no you don't. Destroyed that entire vat of potion. Oh, he's dead. I want all that gold, please. But hopefully without dying. We got a lot of gold, 100. It's not really, really a lot, but I guess it's okay. And we are very low health in the process, sadly. How do I get up there? Is that like a wand or a potion? It seems like something more potion-like. Egg, egg. There we go. Our little friend. Our little monster friend right here. Should have not thrown him up there, probably, because it seems like a hard location to get out of, but still. What is this water? I think it is water topped off with poison. So I think we should be careful spending too much time in it probably. But I do want to get the gold. I did see the enemy around here somewhere. But I think or hope he fell down. No problem. No problem. 15 health. That's more than enough. I'm going to use one stick of dynamite to get through there a bit more quickly. I'm going to wait a second so that I don't get lit up. And I'm not talking about Lewis lit from suits even though he also lights people up that's his signature catchphrase catch catchphrase oh i don't really want another flame wizard to be honest please i beg you have some mercy there we go let me get that gold and now i just want to get out of here i think i really really don't want to get into bed with another one of those flame wizards we know that this is a material we cannot break with our explosives so no use trying that even though there is a wand in the middle there well then how do we get there can we maybe Put a stick of dynamite right here and then crack through that little little hole. Let's try a, a bit more. Is that enough? One more maybe? Come on. This other material near here is also indestructible it seems like. I don't know why, the, why there is a bush growing here. But I think I just trapped myself. Maybe I just have to approach it from the other side if possible. Let's release the poison poison over here. I don't think this monster will be affected by poison himself because he is made up out of poison. This is too dangerous for being on 15 health. It's not worth the wand, whatever type of wand it is. Quickly go through here. I think I've actually grown to prefer the dynamite over the bomb, really. The dynamite, the explosions are a bit smaller, but you have so many more charges. So can you, you can make a lot more small little precise incisions that we have here. Blood Cloud, even more dynamite. Giga Saw Blades, that's uh, dangerous, we know about that. Swapper, Bubble Spark, Black Hole, Black Hole sounds interesting. Chain Bolt also sounds interesting. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll go for a little Chain Bolt action. What does that do? Alright, so it's not really a modifier, it's just a second ability that we have right now. Well, I guess if we are going for second abilities, why not go with this? Warning, this one doesn't have enough mana and what about if we just remove the other spell no so it can't it doesn't have enough mana to cast that ability really not even if we replace that huh and does this one have enough mana nope not at all so we need a stronger wand to actually be able to use the saw blade ability we just got critical hits bombs materialized Summon Sairuruki. You gain an artifact that allows you to call the Celestial Rage. That sounds way too complicated. Just give me some critical hits, please. Keep it nice and simple. All right, progress through the mines without too much harm done. Gold pits it is. Hey, my gold nugget. 
All right, we got hit quite often there. I think we're gonna need to change up our one setup a little bit. Discharge bolt. Oh, we can't right now. That's true. We need to find another wand. Discharge bolt is causing me some trouble. It's a powerful ability, but it costs too much mana to be spammed. It is home towards the enemies, though. That's very cool. Bombard them from afar. What is this army doing here? Come on. No, I don't like getting hit. I would rather not. This guy hit me right in the face as well. Let's try and collect some of the gold over here at least before it disappears. What? Oh, Jesus. I see you, little bomb fella. You're slimed up, moving a bit slower. It's such a strong ability, but really it costs us too much mana to use effectively. Don't stand in the fire. Don't get hit by these guys' as fireballs. Love the design, though, the little magma flies. Oh, that's a whole bunch of gold. We are poisoned to get it, but that was really too much gold to pass up on. Oh, Jesus Christ, we just made everything in the entire world explode. I need, like, some water or something. Or I guess we could also just get into the next level. Let's try and get some gold out of here. Oh no, we're dying. We need to move along quickly. Get the health. That was greed. That was greed right there. I just wanted some more gold and I died for it. Let's try one regular run. I think that was not the worst run we have played so far. We were calm and collected. Our aim was quite well, but I think we made the wrong decision by upgrading our wand right there. Spark bolt, three bombs. Swamp potion. What happens if we drink the swamp potion? Food poisoning. Oh, all right. Nothing stays inside. I'm gonna throw up. That's cool. We start off with a wand with two little sparky boys. That means that we will be firing rather quickly, I think. And there we go. We're on fire. Hit in the water real quickly. Nice. Where are we supposed to go? I guess we all just use a little bomb. The explosion range is really, really a lot larger, I guess. But still, dynamite takes my fancy. Dynamite takes the win for me. For my personal preference rankings. Give me that gold. Thank you very much. Poisoned. Is there any fluid around here? That Yeah, well, not that kind of fluid, please. Not more poison. I don't think that's really going to help us out. Some blood. Oh yeah, that works out. Not seeing any sparkles around here. So I guess we'll just move along. A lot of poison in this map though. God damn, what the hell is happening over here? And here we go. We know how this works. Can we use the swamp? Yeah, we can. But are we going to be able to dodge the boss without having the quickness potion? That's the real question. Even if we don't dodge the boss and we just have the new unlock, I think that's already a win in my book though, because I still want to unlock everything, of course. So that in the future I can have even more, more options to explore. This really is a long distance to fly over. I hope we can do it just like this. What do we get? Maximum health, and hopefully something else too, right? And an orb of true knowledge. Well, I, I, I hope we unlocked something, I'm not sure. Alright, here we go, big boy. I'm just gonna ignore you. We're not even damaging him. And we have 3 HP, and we're dead. <laughs> this game is just... One orb collected, but we didn't make any progress. So what are the orbs actually for? You know what? I have no idea. Still though, look at how many things we still have to unlock. All right. That was episode five for you, I think. Um, this game is still complete chaos and I have no idea what I'm doing yet, but I'm still having a blast. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.